My name is Justin Loria, and today I'm going to teach you how to ride a skateboard off of curbs and ledges. For those of you that are new to skateboarding, this maneuver would be a perfect candidate for one of the very first tricks that you learn. Make sure though that you're at least fairly comfortable riding on your board before you make any attempts, or else you could end up taking some pretty hard slams. If you already know how to manual, this trick is going to be really easy. If not, spend some time practicing picking your front wheels off the ground while you're riding before you take it to a curb. Okay, so to make this as easy as possible on yourself, find the absolute shortest curb you can to start practicing on. Ideally, you want one short enough so that your board can roll down the curb without either set of wheels leaving the ground. You can test this out by rolling the board over the curb with your hands. If your front wheels don't touch the landing right after you drop them over the curb, you're going to be setting yourself up for more potential slams. Also, if your curb looks like this, you're probably going to want to steer clear of it until you've practiced on something with a smooth drop off. Alright, so now that you've found the perfect curb to practice on, it's time to go over the technique. As you roll up to the curb, you want to have enough speed so that both sets of wheels go over the edge fairly quickly. If you're coming to a stop right as you get to the edge of the curb, you're going to be stuck in a balancing position and your board is either going to nosedive or shoot out in front of you. Now that you're approaching the curb with a little speed, make sure you've got your feet in a good stable riding position and that your back foot is positioned behind the back two wheels. Before your front wheels touch the edge of the curb, shift your weight onto your back foot so that your front wheels come off the ground slightly. If you lean back too far, the back part of your board is going to scrape the ground, so your goal is to find a happy medium between leaning back too far and not leaning back enough. Remember that you only need to balance your front wheels off the ground momentarily, so even if you can't hold a wheelie for very long, you should still be able to do this trick by giving the board a simple little nudge as you're riding off the curb. Okay, so once your front wheels are off the ground, the rest is easy. Just ride forward until your back wheels go over the curb, and you and your board will drop down onto the landing. The tail of your skateboard might tap the curb just after your back wheels clear if you're riding slowly enough, but don't let that alarm you. After your back wheels clear the obstacle, you can evenly distribute your weight on both feet again. As you progress, you'll be able to ride off of larger curbs and even big ledges. The higher you drop from, the more important it is that you land properly to avoid hurting yourself or your skateboard. The best way to land from a height is to try to reduce the impact on your joints and your board as much as possible. So when you hit the ground, make sure to bend your knees to absorb the impact. Also, if you don't want to snap the tail of your board, while you're dropping you're going to need to reposition your back foot so that it'll land over top of the back wheels. The biggest problem you can encounter when attempting this trick is to have your weight either too far forward or way too far back. If the front of your board is slamming into the landing area causing you to fall forward, try keeping your weight farther back so that your front wheels are just barely coming off the ground. If the board is flying out in front of you, make sure that you transition to putting your weight evenly on both feet as you land. Stay tuned for more trick tips. Please subscribe if you haven't already and remember, have fun.